Welcome back to Norath. I've been working hard on the city over the last week or so, and I've got a lot of little things around here to show you. So let's get started. The first thing you will notice is I have added some foliage and vegetation to the central courtyard here. I've also added some more stairs around here, so if we get caught in the water down here, we can get out of it. Can't have people drowning over here. I've also installed the door in front of the Claret Guild here. And I've gone through and put all the piston doors to be installed. And this room here is about as big as the Claret Guild is in EverQuest. However, you will notice we have here a teleport pad. I wonder where that goes. Hmm, well, we're actually going to have to look at that the next episode. A little teaser there. For today, we need to look at some other structures around here. Uh, let's start over here with this one. I'm not actually sure what this one's going to be. But, the building itself is finished. I think it's either going to be a shop, or perhaps a restaurant of some description. Or possibly a shop, though, I think. It's very centrally located, probably a general goods store. For you to get your elven rations before you head out for your adventures in the Greater Feydark. You also see, I'm trying out a design here for some hanging lanterns. These are made with uh, pretty much just plain blue banners. I might want to put a design on those though. Might look pretty neat. But it's just a banner here and a banner underneath it with a little glowstone there. It gives us a uh, kind of look like it's um, a bit like an oriental paper lantern, is what I was trying to go for there. And if we go inside the shop itself, we have a nice glass floor in here, lit from below by some glowstone. With the shaders, it has all these reflections. It looks really nice. I'm going to have to do quite a bit more with the glass floors in the future. But it's currently undecorated. The ceiling is just made up of dark oak beams and slabs. And we've got a little light fixture here hanging down. And I think we'll have various chests and tables and counters in here. For adventurers to buy things with. The outside of the building itself is just a standard square footprint. But it's got our elven roofs on it. However, we have a slight asymmetry here at the top. Which, if you look at it from this angle here, it looks quite nice, I think. One of the things I've been doing with the elven designs around here is doing symmetric roofs, but also adding in slight asymmetrical designs. Of course, it's hollow underneath here. I need to fill this in with something. Get a look at it from the top here. Looks pretty good. I'm actually surprised how much mileage we've been getting around here out of these roof designs. It's just sort of the gift that keeps on giving, you might say. Also, another thing before I look at the shop down there is I have added these little platforms of glass here and they're jutting out here over the edges and they're kind of being supported by these little arches not quite arches I'm not quite sure what they are but it's a new design I came up with I was just messing around and rotating the roof segments and I flipped it over on its side and I thought well wait a minute that looks like a pretty good support structure so there are four of these here, and my idea for this building, I thought that this would be good for, let's say you have a flying mount and you're flying into Felwyth, and you come down here and you land, and this would be sort of the, the Grand Central Station of Felwyth. Of course it has uh, four platforms on either side to give it that sort of effect. And, uh, oh, well, as a teaser for one of the next episodes, you can see out there, I'm starting to work on a ship design 
for the high elves. It's not quite complete. It doesn't have sales yet. So that's just another teaser for future episodes. But if we come up here and look at this, it's got a sort of a flower type of profile to it, especially from above. It looks like a sort of flower made out of stained glass and sandstone. Quite pretty. Enough about that. Let's look down here because this is the building I'm starting to develop for the Felwyth in-house. Or when travelers come through, they're going to need a place to stay. So I thought they'd quite like to stay here. It's just facing the central courtyard area. And as you will notice, this side is completely covered in glass, pretty much. I've removed as much wall and replaced it with as much glass as I thought I could get away with. That's sort of a rule when you're building Gothic designs, even though this isn't technically Gothic. It does have some Gothic elements. And a principle of Gothic design is to remove as much wall as you can and replace it with as much glass as you can. That's what I've done here. We have a glass over here. Glass out the front. We have these glass windows here. And we also have this sort of semicircular indentation that I made into the side of the building to give it a sort of reverse bay window effect. This is actually something I saw that um, was done in Rivendell in Lord of the Rings. So I decided to steal that design like a good architect does and put it into my elven buildings. So let's land here and go inside. We've got, as you can see, another glass floor. Just like we have inside the um, shop I showed you. Although this should all be uh, blue glass. Like my brush when I was recoloring the glass made its way down the floor. I'll have to fix that. But I think this area we're going to have to put a probably a hearth. Maybe somewhere around here. With lots of chairs and tables. Various things. Because this is going to be... This room down here, attached to the inn, is going to be the main tavern, Bellwyth. And if we look through the windows here, we can get a nice view of the city through our stained glass here. And I have added on some wings at the back here. Uh, they're currently empty. I haven't installed the floors yet. But you can see where I'm headed with this. Because back here we're going to be installing the rooms and the floors for the in rooms themselves. And I think at the back here we're going to put a little secluded courtyard also. For weary travelers to rest in. Probably have a little fountain back there and some foliage. Trees hanging over. Might look pretty good. Maybe... Maybe we might put a uh, smaller version of our cleric tree that we've got going over there. I do want to do that in the central area around here. I want to put smaller versions of our cleric guild tree. So we can have a few more of those around there. Smaller versions will uh, complement the larger one quite a bit, I think. I'm, and while I'm sitting here, I'm thinking maybe... Around here in these corners, we'll put four four smaller trees like that style in the corners of our courtyard here. That might look pretty good. I don't want to have them too big because we want to have this fairly open so it won't block the view of everything that's going on around here. Also, while we're over here, I'll show you that I finally got around to installing the doors between the sections of Felwyth over here. And I believe I also went through and tinkered with the water features around here a bit more. It's almost there. I want to add just a few more blocks, probably underneath here and here, to give us the full effect. But there aren't any substantial changes made over here yet, just the doors. 
I think I added some pathways over there. Oh, the, well, there's also a, another room over here for the Paladin Guild. And it also has a, a curious teleport pad in it. I, I wonder where that goes. Hmm. Definitely going to be next episode, probably. I'm not quite ready to show that. I'm just teasing it. I think for today, however, I've shown you everything around here. So it's time to go in the bank building over here that I showed you where I relocated it because we have an interior to explore. No teaser on this one. And this is labeled, of course, the Felwyth Keeper, just like we saw in EverQuest. Except this. It's somewhat larger and uh, grander on the inside than what we pre previously saw. I think I also want to add around here for the floor plan. We need some more decoration than what I've got going around here. It's just a bare glass floor. We also have several boxes on either sides here. But if we look up here towards the ceiling, we see that we have some wonderful rib vaulting going on up there with sandstone, bedrock, and obsidian. With some accents at the top there, with a little glowstone and glass. We have some pillars holding them up also. I think uh, in the near future, I need to do a tutorial to show people exactly how to make these designs because I do get questions about this and as far as I've seen not many people in Minecraft have figured this out so I should probably do that as a public service however let's go up here to the teller stand and it doesn't appear to be anyone on duty so we will uh, jump over the counter and back here we have various piles of goodies and even more boxes, presumably holding the valuables of the depositors. We have quite a few piles of gold and diamonds and emeralds. And my idea is that these would be the valuables stored by people. And you would have a NPC or a teller here. And they would retrieve things. Not unlike what we saw in EverQuest, just a little bit more developed. And you also remember one of the things that we did see in EverQuest was a vault. But it was just a blank texture on a door and you couldn't go behind it. But we have fixed that this time around because... We have now entered the bank vault area. And indeed it is very vaulted. Architecturally speaking, also, because we have up there larger versions of our rib vaulting, we also have some glowstone and glass chandeliers hanging down from the surface, reflecting the wealth and grandeur that is stored in these walls behind me here. And they're stored in a series of eight vaults. And let's go in one of the vaults. I'll just pretend we have a key card. So if we enter one of these secure vaults, we see yet more piles of gold and diamonds and emeralds. As well as various chests back here. I thought about filling these things with various items and valuables. I may do that in the future to give everything a bit more texture. But we just have smaller versions of the roofs we've seen previously. And I think the last thing we will be taking a look at today is I said there were eight vaults, but there are nine doors. Hmm. I wonder behind door number nine. Oh, we have another teleport pad. So is Trider just going to tease this teleport pad and not actually go in it? Nope, today is your lucky day. We are actually going to go in this particular teleport pad because it will take us down to the main vault. So we have teleported now deep underground. You will see we're now at Y level 6. And when you use these, when you come in the world later on, I might want to redo the coordinates so you don't actually face this way because it would be too easy to 
walk directly over the teleport that will take you back to the surface. I think that's a bit of a problem I need to fix. I need to put you out here in front of it instead of just in front of the pad itself. However, we are now in a copy of the room that we were just in, so you might think that we have gone nowhere, except the Y level confirms that we have moved down. So we will now head into... Oh my goodness. That is a lot of gold. In fact, now that I'm looking at this, I realize I have I don't have my texture pack on. Hang on just one one second. There we go, that's better. We now can see the texture I have chosen for my version of gold. Because this way it looks like we have gold bricks stacked up everywhere. And it's just a little bit more golden than yellow. We'll go up around here and we have stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks of blocks of gold. And I haven't actually counted how many blocks of gold are in here actually. I'm sure we at least have a thousand blocks of gold in here. And you could say this is sort of the central reserve of the High Elves because in Norath we actually use gold for currency. Uh, well, technically, uh, platinum, gold, silver, and copper. We don't use diamonds. But of those blocks, the only ones we actually have are gold. So that is the one that I'm going to be going for when we build all the various banks of Norath. Because we still have the Iron Bank of Freeport to return and build at some point. However, this is the gold vault for the Royal Bank of Philae. And while I'm in here, let me give you a good look at the ornamented rib vaulted ceiling we have going on up here. I had to play around with the design for this quite a while for it to come out. These things are not as simple to do as you might think. It takes quite a bit of trial and error to get these sweeping curvy designs in a game made entirely of blocks. So let's land down here. Take a good look at our gold vault. We can actually go behind the scenes back here. I've spaced all these apart so you could presumably wander around and get lost in here if you wanted to. But that's going to be all the time we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Come back next time and we will take a look at those portals that I showed you because there are Quite a, quite a bit more of the Felwyth underground area for me to show you. And I think after that we'll probably return to South Felwyth and take a look at the mage schools that I've begun to construct. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.